Oh my god. I just made myself some fish and chips. And after eating it, I wanted to go to sleep. And then some nut texts me on Facebook Marketplace and says, I'll give you a hundred bucks for your craftsman push mower with a bag. And I said, uh, oh yeah? Well, it's listed for 150. Why should I go down to a hundred? He's like, actually, I bought a mower from you about five or six months ago. It still runs, but I think it has a fuel delivery problem. And I says, just clean the carburetor. He's like, oh, I got no time. And I says, well, it's an easy fix, man. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll show you a link to one of my videos. And he's like, no, 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 I just want another mower. How about I give the mower you sold me back to you again, and you give me yours for a hundred bucks. So I said, hmm, that's not bad. But then I rem he showed me a picture of the mower that I, I sold him. It's just a simple push mower like this without a bag. And I remember, I think it had wobbly wheels, you know? So I didn't really want it back. I just would rather get more cash than a trade-in. You know what I mean? I know I could just get that back and clean the carb and sell it for another 80 to 100 bucks later, you know? But uh, I really would just like to have the cash. So finally he says, Look, I really need it, all right? And I don't have time to mess around. Uh, I'll give you 120. And I only live like yo over there, you know? And I'm like, 125. So he's like, okay, can you deliver it to me? I go, what, you want delivery too? Are you crazy? And he's like, I'm only in Northport. I'm like, it's only a few blocks away from the church that I would have met him anyway. So whatever, at least I know where he lives. In case he wants to screw with me. Anyway, so I'm going to give him this. Uh, it's an auto choke. I used this just the other day to mow my lawn. Uh, it does a great job. I just... Oh, I'm actually in this for nine bucks. Remember, I bought a cable for this. And also, uh, that's it. I just bought a cable for it. I adjusted the speed. It's an auto choke. It ought to just start right up. high wheel like this, it's in really good shape. 125 dollars, that's a deal. I figured the guy had bought from me before, you know what I mean, so. Now I'm gonna load this in my van and hopefully the guy will give me 125 for it. Uh, I guess that's all right. You can't get too greedy. And then I'll only have two mowers left to hold on to for the entire winter. How about that, huh? Pretty good.
over here at Jason's house. On the way home, I decided to stop by. I saw him in the driveway. He's uh, He wants to unload his uh, T2200 series down here. I figured I'd stay and help him. Uh, you're, you're doing that right now, right? All right, let me put you on time lapse. So as you guys saw on the way back from that uh, sale, um, I drove by uh, Jason's house and he was there and he looked like he was unloading a tractor or whatever. So I uh, stopped to say hi and I ended up helping him move it off his, uh, you know, uh, pickup, Mandingo. And we were talking, walked around his yard. Man, he's got a lot of stuff, man. I, I would be totally overwhelmed if I, if I had that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like I remember my yard looked like that with all that stuff, like maybe a couple of years ago, you know, but I'm so happy that uh, I don't have a whole lot of stuff to carry over through the seasons, you know. But man, I would be totally overwhelmed. Uh, anyway, so we just, we're just talking and stuff like that. I was telling him about my <laughs> hustle today, and it was a hustle, you know why? Because when we went back and forth with the guy, right, I, I now remember the guy that I sold the thing to, and uh, well, we were going 150, 120, 100 with the bag, 100 with the trade-in, whatever, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And at the end of the day, I didn't really want the trade-in, you know? And then as I was about to leave, after he paid me, he paid me uh, 125 for the mower, right? Uh, at, the end, at the end of that conversation, I was about to leave. And then I said to him, so what are you gonna do with the mower? He's like, I really wasn't gonna do anything with the mower. I'd probably just scrap it. And like, he goes, do you still want it? And I'm like, if you don't want it, I'll take it, you know? <laughs> Started right up, right? And he's like, oh, wow, it starts right up. It was, it was revving really high, so I'm suspecting that he was just mowing and stuff, and he hit like a, something like a branch. The branch pushed that little metal tab that the throttle spring attaches to and pushed it in so that the RPMs were really low, or maybe pushed it in and pulled it out and then pulled it uh, the throttle spring tighter so that now the RPMs are really high. So I think it's just a small little adjustment is all it is. So it, anyway, so 125 I got in cash for that mower and he gave me the mower that I sold him five, six months ago. So pretty good bonus for me, you know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't expecting to get more than a hundred bucks for that mower and I ended up getting 125 plus my old mower back. So that that's his hustle for me, for sure. Uh, so here I have another mower to uh, hopefully 
easily fix and then sell again. So it's good turnover, you know what I'm saying? So uh, all in all, it's a very good day. Um, and it was good to see Jason again. He always tells me, don't be a stranger. So that's the mower right here. The one I sold him five, six months ago. Um, it, he leaves it outside, so I'm not really surprised that there's something wrong with it. There's like a pound of dirt in there, whatever. I think I sold this to him for a hundred bucks six months ago. I don't remember where I got it, but it's not bad. It's not a bad mower. It's a quantum engine, even though it is the primer bulb, which I don't like. He's getting an auto choke and a bagger. But like I said, um, <laughs> still a good deal for me, you know what I mean? And that's, uh, that's a daily hustle right there, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and one whole episode's worth of uh, <laughs> content. That's another one of Henry's daily hustles. Making money, getting stuff back to fix really quick, selling it again for money, you know what I mean? As long as you know what to look for and how to fix it, it's really pretty easy, you know what I mean? Thanks a lot for joining me on today's hustle video. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Later. Hey, I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers. As a YouTuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye <laughs>